This is going to be fun. Today we are going to train our muscles in a way which is possible for everyone and also train our brains. Kill two birds with one stone. So stay with me and you will see. Hey everyone, it's Dr. Lena. Welcome to Sport Health Science. This channel is all about giving you training, knowledge and tools to help you to exercise more effectively and make healthy lifestyle choices so you feel stronger, healthier and happier. So we all know that physical activity is good for our health, but did you know that it also boosts your brain power? It's true. Kinetics and brain gym activities encourage the left and right cerebral hemisphere to work together better. This builds new synapses and improves our cognitive capacity. But you have to learn new things. The brain won't build these new synapses by doing the same old thing over and over. So you need to give it a new challenge. Over time you will get better at these new things and the brain will benefit. As a result you will see higher ability to concentrate, reduce stress, higher receptivity and dopamine levels. The key is a combination of motor and brain performance and learning new things. Have you ever tried to brush your teeth with the wrong hand? or use your computer mouse with the, others, with the other hand? Or try standing on one leg whilst talking on the phone? <laughs> and don't worry, it's never too late to start. You will still get the benefits. The other day I showed even my grandma some exercises to prevent Alzheimer's and to reduce forgetfulness. So now she has a new challenge that she's practicing every day. One of her exercises involves swapping between hand, hands. One is the rabbit and the other is the piston, which is the hunter. And then you have to change. Just give it a try. So change from one side to the other. Great. But now we want to incre increase our heart rate as well. We are starting with a short warm up and continuing with two sets of four exercises, each for 40 seconds, followed by 20 seconds of rest. Each round will be repeat twice. So let's go. All right, we are going to start with a small warm up. We are starting to march and swing our arms. And then every fourth swing, we are going to do a big circle. One, two, three, four circle. One, two, three, four circle. So it's a small activation, warming up our shoulder muscles, and at the same time already focusing on some coordination. March and circle. Great. All right, we're continuing with the same march but keep our arms up and from here one arm goes forward the other one goes back we swing four times on one side good and then we change directions the other arm goes forward the other back so big circles to get our shoulder muscles warm we change to the other side and at the same time focusing on some coordination here and change Good, well done. From here we continue. Right hand goes to the left knee, left hand to the right knee. So the left half of our brain is activating the right part of our body and the other way around. So these crossover movements are great to improve the synergy between the left and the right half, brain half. So, and at the same time we are warming up. We continue with the same movement, but behind. So, meaning left foot and right hand goes together. Again, another crossover movement. Bring your heels up and hands back. Well done. And from here we combine. Front, front, back, back. So it looks maybe like a funny dance from the south of Germany but as well we are working to improve our coordination look it's not so easy to talk and to move at the same time <laughs> good knee knee heel heel knee knee heel heel last repetitions good I have one more coordination exercise for you. Bend, bend, stretch, stretch. So bend your arms twice and stretch them. Bend, bend, stretch, stretch. Yes. I know it's not easy at the beginning, 
The more you do those kind of exercises, the easier it will be. And it's good to challenge yourself a bit. We're going to do that. If this works well, we're going to add two steps. That means step, step, and go back, back. So we're combining arms and legs. So again, so bend, bend, stretch, stretch, bend, bend, stretch, stretch, bend, bend, stretch, stretch. It's a nice coordination and concentration exercise, combining those two exercises at the same time. And great challenge to stimulate the growth of our synapses. So, and don't worry if it's not working at the very beginning, it's actually a good sign because that means that your synapses are working, that you have lots of brain activity going on to be able to manage this movement. All right, great. Shake your arms out, shake your legs up. Enough thinking. We are going to start with the exercises. I will set the timer, show you first the first exercise. So it's, we are going to do four jumping jacks, but we can do them walking as well. That means one, two, three. Four, and then we squat. Squat, two squats, two squats. Ready? Let's set the timer. We are doing the walking jumping jacks without the jump. Four times, and now we squat. One, two. One, two, three, four, and go down. Go down. Pull your belly button inside, have a straight back, and from here, watch your knees. Your knees are pointing in the direction of your toes. It's a nice exercise without any impact as we don't do the jump. Getting our heart rate up. Pull your arms actively down. And the last two. Good. Relax your legs. I will show you the next exercise. It's a wide squat. Take your arms next to your head. From here, we are squatting down in this wide position and then a small side bend. We squat down and we bend to the side. You have a little rest and ready to go. So, wide squat, knees and elbow together. Wide squat, knees and elbow. Try to stay in an upright position, engage your core, and you decide how low you want to go. Your toes are pointing slightly out, your knees always in that direction of your toes. We're working on the glutes, on the quads, and on the obliques, our side abdominals. Good. The last three seconds. Well done. 20 seconds of rest. Time to go on the ground. And from here, we start lifting up one leg, lift up one arm, hold the position, try to stay in one straight line, and then change to the other side. You still have a little rest. And now, ready to start. Your hand is underneath your shoulder. Pull in your belly button to keep one straight line. And then do it in your rhythm. Keep on breathing. Pull your arm forward, your leg back. Hold it in one straight line and then change to the other side. Your head is in alignment to your spine. Looking down. Pull your belly button inside to keep your back straight in one straight line. And that's it already. We come back in the standing position and continue with four walking side steps in a deep position. And then do one squat and then we walk four steps back. So our quadriceps have to work. Ready? Let's start. Squat and one, two, three, four. Squat down and up and go to the side. One, two, three, four. Down and up. One. You can push your hands together so we have a small activation as well for your chest muscles. 
and then stay in a low position. So working here on our quads. It's normal if you feel a slight burn in your quads. Good sign that they are working. Good, have a rest. That was already the first round. We continue these four exercises a second time. Take it out, take a deep breath. And remember we're starting with the jumping jacks, but we don't jump, we just set our foot to the side. Ready? All right, let's do this. One, two, three, four, and squat, and squat. You decide how fast you want to do it. The faster you go, the more intense it will be. One, two, three, four, and squat, and squat. Lots of muscles are working at the same time. One, two, one, two, three, four. Keep on breathing regularly. Watch your form. Keep it straight back all the time. The last two. Good, shake it out. The next exercise is the white squat with the, with the side bend. So remember, when we are squatting down, knees are always pointing in the direction of the feet. Contract as well at your center. So pull in your belly button, bring your pelvis forward to avoid hyper extension of your back. And we start, go down and up. Go down and side bend. Down, side bend. Your back is straight. You decide the range of motion. The lower you go, the harder it will be. But it's totally fine to start with a small movement. As long as you keep moving, I'm very happy. Last ones. Good. And we continue on the floor. Sit down. Knees and hands on the floor, your hands are underneath your shoulder, your knees underneath your pelvis. And from here, we're stretching one straight line. Try again to bring your pelvis down to stay aligned with, your with the floor. And we start and change. Up and down, up and down. It's a great exercise for the glutes and the lower back, the antagonists of the hip flexors. Straight down, up and down. Especially if you have lower back problems, this is really good exercise because you're strengthening the lower back and the glutes, which are very important when you have lower back pain. Good, last one. And come back up in the standing position. We continue with the four side steps and the squat. Squat position, shoulder width position from here. Shift your pelvis back. So you start with a hip hinge, back, 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 back. You decide how low you go. Come back up and then four steps to the side. And one, we start now. Two, three, four, down and up. One, two, three, four, down and up. If you want an extra challenge, you can try what we saw before the rabbit and the um, hunter. If not, push your hands together, work on your chest muscles. Stay in a low position to work on your quads and then go deep and up. One last round. Last one, good. We start the next round. Relax your arms, your legs. And I will show you the first exercise. We continue. Four high knees. Pull your knees as high as possible. Four kicks. You decide how high you want to kick. And then again, high knees. Ready? Let's start. One, two, three. Four high knees, four kicks. At the same time, we are using our arms. So one, two, three, four. Kick, kick, kick. It's a nice exercise again to bring our heart rate up, to have some coordination, some core activity, nice full body movement. 
pull your belly button inside, engage your core, and then you can lift up your knees even higher and your legs as well. Last ones. Good. We continue on the floor. You have 20 seconds of rest. I will show you. We start with a half push up. So you decide how low you go, halfway or all the way down. Push up from here. We start with one push up and then plank position. Either you hold it or you do a small tap. Okay, let's start. Push up, hold it or tap and tap. Push up, hold it or tap and tap. So you decide how low you want to go. You decide if you want to hold this or if you want to ex add an extra tap. Watch your form. So your elbows are always next to your body. Pe pull your belly button inside to keep one straight line. And keep on breathing. Very important. Breathe out when you come up. Last one. Well done. Come, come back up in the standing position. We continue with a reverse lunge. So we go back, big step back, other side, big step back. Almost touching the floor. And if you want a small challenge, we do a small rowing movement to the side of your bent leg. Let's start. Row to the side, row to the side. If you don't feel comfortable, if you feel like you would lose a little bit of balance, do the same exercise without the rowing movement. Big step backwards, your knee is pointing in the direction of your foot. Big step. If you want to challenge yourself a little bit more, one side and other side. Now the core has to work much more to hold this position to keep the balance. Very well done. Last one. Good. And the next one is a hamstring curl with open arms. So you bend your leg, bring your heel up to your buttocks. At the same time, open up and close. Open up and close. Okay, ready? Let's start now. Up and down. Good, we open up the muscles in between our shoulder blades. The rhomboids are contracting. We have a nice stretch for our chest muscles. At the same time, our hamstrings and glutes are working here. If you want to add, again, a little bit of challenge and coordination, every third, we do a double. One, two. One, two, three, double. One, two, three, double. One, two, three and rest. This was already the second round. We start again with a high knees. So four high knees and four kicks. That will be the exercise. You still have three seconds to rest. Let's do this. Four high knees, pull your arms actively down and four kicks. High knees, and kick, 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 kick. Nice cardiovascular exercise. Push, 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 push. Try to stay in a straight upright position. Last ones, good. We go on the floor, the knees stay on the ground, hands are underneath your shoulders. From here we continue with a push-up and then with a tap or otherwise hold the plank position like this. You decide your level. Let's start. Pushing down, pushing up, tap and tap. Pull in your belly button. Try to stay in one straight line from your head to your knees. Breathe out when you press up. You don't have to go all the way down to the ground. It's totally fine 
if you just do a small movement and then push up again. Everyone has to start somewhere. And this is already a great exercise to work on your chest muscles and your shoulder muscles. That's it. Come back up in a standing position. The reverse lung, lunge. And if you want to challenge yourself more, do the rowing. We rotate in the upper body, rotate in the upper body. So all our center, the abdominals have to work. Okay, let's start. Back and front. Back, step back and come back. Back, step and back. The knee is pointing in the direction of your foot. Try not to curve in or out. Your back is straight. Almost there. Good. 20 seconds of rest. And the last exercise. I will show you one more time because now we're doing one two and the double so we do only two singles single and double okay one two and double are you ready let's start one one double one one double so it's a nice coordination exercise Single, single, double. Open up your chest. Nice chest stretch. We're doing this way. We are doing this not very often in our daily life. So enjoy it now. But don't forget the leg work. One, two, and the last one. Good. Well done, that was it. So how was this for you? Did you feel your muscles working? And even if you did not realize, I'm sure your interconnections and synapses formation in the nervous system got stimulated as well. Try to repeat this kind of workout and integrate unusual behavior patterns in your daily life as much as possible. To get new input and variation options, subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell to get informed about our next video.